Welcome to Mr. Getz's Flipped Classroom. What we're looking at in this video is how to make an intro for a TV show. Here is the assignment right here. And what I'm going to do is click on, uh, so what it says here, you're going to use Adobe Photoshop to make the images in Adobe Premiere to arrange the images into a sequence. You will download a music track from the internet and import it into your video. Pick music with a beat you can edit to. So 1920 by 1080 is uh, high definition. So this is an example of what I want this to look like here. Okay, so did you catch that? I'm gonna go back one more time. This is the college radio station where I was a DJ, and I was a DJ with this guy, Ethan Smith, about 15 years ago. And we're gonna play this one more time. I'm Mixmaster Ethan, and these are my library picks. Okay, so if we look at that right there, and then we're gonna go back to the instructions. Use this as the text. Mainer Media Crew presents the Your Name Show. So go back over to here. Mustang Media Crew presents the Your Name Show is what's gonna be here. So I'm gonna go in and open uh, Photoshop. See if we can get started here. So typed in, got Photoshop opening up. What else is here? So I have a link to get some color schemes. So you saw those vivid colors there. So this is to get a color scheme, or you can get a color scheme from here, or you can get a color scheme from here. So when we go into Photoshop, what we're gonna do is make a new document. So let's go to new, let's see what happens here. <laughs> I don't need to go on a tour. So in your own time, you can click on some different things here and learn what you can. So we're going in for pixels here. And then again, this is 1920 wide. And then we're gonna go 1080. 300 resolution is what's good for print. And 72 is okay for web and TV. Uh, so I don't know if we're gonna be printing any of this out, but if it looks good and you do want to print it, it's not going to hurt anything to make it uh, 300 on uh, pixels per inch on the resolution here. And I'm going to say the name of it. And this is going to be Mr. Getz Show Pick 1. So it's picture 1 because we're going to do several of these in different colors. Okay, so once we get in here, uh, we're going to go in and take, well, this is a background layer here. So the background layer we see is locked. So if I try to click up here to put text in, it's not going to let me. So this may be Mr. Getz crashing the computer just by hitting text. No. Okay, so I'm going to make a new make a new layer right here, layer 1. It's the biggest mistake opening up Photoshop is to try to edit a locked layer, which is no fun. Okay, so here is Mustang Media Crew presents just like that. I'm going to move this. Uh, kind of up here. I can already tell that to me looks a little bit uh, small. So I'm going to get back on the text tool, get some text options, and go through and see what different kind of, of fonts you see and what different kind of fonts uh, you like here. For some reason, I've been doing a lot with Tahoma. Um, I had a company that used Bank Gothic uh, for everything a while back. But at any rate, here's Tahoma. I'm going to do a Tahoma bold if I can. I'm uh, going to bring the font up a little bit because this is how big your TV screen is. So when you look at this screen right here, that image, it's going to be kind of like this right here. So I can even use that as a guide and say, okay, we're going to go smaller with this. I went too big. Um, so something like this, going to get on the tool here to move it around, come back over here. Okay, so now what do you think we're going to do? New text, new layer. So new layer. So this is a text layer, and it says what's on the layer. So i got a new text layer here, and this is where I'm going to write the Mr. Gets show. So coming right here, clicking right here, presents the Mr. Gets show. And then to make it so it's like a little bit taller here, um, maybe do a center justify. And I'm going to need to make it bigger than that top text, right? 
because you see how big the top text is. And this thing seems to kind of be on the center. It is left justified, okay. So we'll go back and left justify and then come in here. Here presents, maybe take this guy up a little bit, take this guy kind of like that. And then this text doesn't look as groovy as this text here. So let's see if we can make this text a little bit more groovy. So I'm gonna highlight it right here and I'm gonna go into layer layer style. Um, let's see if we can do something with a uh, inner glow. What does an inner glow do for us? I usually change these to normal uh, just because there's way too many options and if it's set to something else you're not really going to be able to see it. And this is where your color scheme comes in. So the color scheme that you want to use, I'm going to go ahead and click on a, you can try this out uh, or we can just grab colors from right here. 50 gorgeous color schemes from stunning websites. So we come over here and let's say this looks good right here. So with these colors, what I'm going to do is change the font color. This is hexadecimal. So one, two, three, four, five, six characters to get this color. 05386. 05, 05386. 05386. B as in boy at the end. Say B. Okay. Um, and I just type that color in and a whole lot of nothing happens. So I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to go back over here. A little bit discouraging because I don't know what I had clicked on. Okay, so back over here. Uh, and then to change the color, I'm going to click on this guy and try that one more time. So that was 05386B. And say, okay. So that changed that color. Uh, click off of this over here, and we've got that color. Now we got to do a glow. So I'm going to try to set this for the inner glow, that 5CDB95. So once again, we got to highlight the text. Take this right here, and then I'm going to go back to layer. I'm going to go to layer style, and let's try to do. <laughs> let's try to do an outer glow. So an outer glow again. Go up to normal. Uh, going to go here to the color and then type in the hexadecimal. I said I want to try 5CDB95 and say okay. That says okay there. And then I'm just going to turn the opacity all the way up so we can make sure we see this thing. Um, you can put some noise on it. You can put some spread uh, on it right here. You can change uh, the size. Uh, so we're getting that there and say okay. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is to make a new layer. I'm going to drag this layer below the text so we can still see it. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to take my paint bucket, a trusty paint bucket tool, and grab one more color. Um, so I think I might take this 8EE uh, -E, uh, one right here. So I'm going to go up here. You can start making swatches. So up here are swatches of colors that I've used. Now, you, actually, you don't have to make them. It made them for me. So I'm going to go in here and take a new color. And then I said I want to try, let's do this 8 E E four A F and I'm gonna say okay and I'm already on the paint bucket tool, I already have the color here, it's already been added to my swatch. I'm going to fill this canvas right here. So it's pretty similar to this color here, which isn't uh, fantastic, but it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna take this color and change that Mustang Media Crew presents right here. And then I'm gonna say click on this color here. And I said, I want to do this one, so EDF5E, EDF5E1, and say EDF5E1, that almost looks like white anyway, uh, so that's fine. Okay, so we got this one right here, uh, which is great. And then we could technically do these all on, on different layers to make kind of the same thing, but what I'm going to do is do a file. Uh, and this is going to be a, let's see, export as. And then we're going to do an export as. It should have the canvas size, should have the image size, all of this good stuff here for us. And I've got to get down to morning duty in a couple minutes here. So this video is almost done. It is processing to do an export as. And it should let us change the format. The image size and the canvas size are two different things, but we'll, we'll cover that at another time. I don't know why this is taking so long. So let me just do a file. And then if there's an export, I'm going to do a save for web. Well, I really don't want to do that. 
Um, but at any rate, what, we're, what we would do in the end is export this as a, uh, as a JPEG or as a TIFF, and then we would save it as a Photoshop document. So let me do a Save As. So when we save this thing, so this is pick one, and you can decide how you want to do this. I mean, this is PSD for PSD right here. I'll just put a P at the end of it too, just to double check or just to make sure we're going to save it to the desktop like that. Maximum compatibility, say OK. And I'm not horribly concerned I wasn't able to, um, to get this guy to do what I wanted um, for export. But I'm going to go over here to the desktop. And then let me see if it's going to let me take this guy and do a copy, take this guy and do a paste. OK, so this says two. I'm going to open up this, we could open up the first one or the second one, whatever. Um, let me just close this one. Let me open up the second one. So what we're going to do here then is, is change the color um, on the background. Uh, so come over here, take this guy, uh, go back to our paint bucket tool and say, you know what, we're going to turn this, I don't know what happened just there, uh -huh, but we're going to turn this background uh, blue like this with our paint bucket. Uh, so when we click in back and forth, now I'm going to do a file save. So we'd export this thing. So when we see it blink and move like it did, uh, that kind of gives you a little bit of the effect. I don't like the way this G is looking here in that S, uh, but that would have to be tweaked uh, later. You've been watching Mr. Getz in his flipped classroom and looking forward to uh, speaking with you again soon. And uh, thanks for watching.